So, it's been a little while since we've had a coffee video, huh? Sorry about that. I've been actually trying to do the coffee and peppermint drink that I was talking about before, and just like I thought, just throwing in some peppermint candy into the coffee was not gonna work. And it wasn't even for the reasons that I thought that it wasn't going to work. As it turns out, um, it doesn't make the coffee any more gross or off as far as flavor because you can't taste it. I ended up adding, well, hold on, let me start from the very beginning. I'm getting ahead of myself. I decided that for this coffee drink, it would be a good idea to do the soft, dissol or they're called melt away soft mints. It's a type of candy that melts away really quickly and you can basically chew them. Um, they're my favorite type of mint candy and I thought that because they melt away easy, they would dissolve completely in the coffee, making sure that you don't have any like sharp shards or um, hard chunks in your coffee while you're trying to drink it. And it worked. The problem was though that the peppermint flavor was completely gone and it kind of just made it a bit more sweet and it also kind of changed the consistency of the coffee. It made it a little bit thicker and that again it wasn't completely gross but I could immediately tell that this was not the desired outcome and a lot of people wouldn't really enjoy this. Thicker coffee isn't something that I imagine a lot of people want and I especially didn't want it so it was back to the drawing board. So as it turns out the solution to my problem is to infuse the peppermint candies with creamer. Because as I've learned through all of these experiments, for whatever reason, cold dairy products, in this case the creamer, absorbs flavor so much better than anything else. <clears throat> Again, I have no idea why this is, but crushing up the peppermint candy, adding it into the creamer, and letting it sort of sit and soak for, well, I let it sit way longer than I had to. It was like several hours before I actually made the coffee. But I think that if you crush up the candy fine enough, you can add it to the creamer and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes until it fully dissolves. I used about seven pieces of peppermint candy. You can feel free to use more or less. Uh, it's all depending on your taste. But let that dissolve in the creamer. Then make your coffee like normal. Coffee creamer and sugar and the peppermint flavor is so much better i'm telling you this is the peppermint coffee experience that makes me think you know what this would make for a very holiday christmas themed drink peppermint in the creamer for about 15 or so minutes i did about seven pieces mix that together with your coffee of choice and there you have it a Christmas themed coffee drink that isn't thick or just strange. It has all of the proper flavor and it's really good. Um, that's gonna do it for this recipe. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. I still have one more coffee drink that I want to try and do before Christmas Day. We'll see if we get a chance to get that done. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all some other time.